You've likely heard of weight loss drugs. Uh, Ozempic, Wagovi are two of the most common. How would they uh, lead you to having a hiatal hernia? So that's something I want to discuss because there are definitely some concerns about these drugs. Uh, can they cause weight loss? Absolutely. Might that be just the ticket for somebody? Perhaps from the weight loss viewpoint, but do understand these drugs are still really new on the market, so we don't have long-term studies. Now, the way they work is that they delay gastric emptying. So, meaning your stomach stays full for longer, and so you don't feel hungry. So that, you know, it's pretty easy. You know, you eat a huge meal, um, and somebody offers you food, you go, oh, no, thank you, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm stuffed, right? That's the expression. And, and that's how you feel even when you haven't eaten very much because the, the very action mechanism of these drugs is to delay your stomach emptying so you feel full longer. Now, um, what are my concerns? A, a, a stomach that stays full so long um, can then cause acid reflux because it's, it's overly full. Also, the, the motion, right, the delayed emptying can result in a chronic condition called gastroparesis where all of a sudden nothing's moving at all through your gut, which can be very uncomfortable. On the extreme end, it can be life-threatening, but it's certainly very uncomfortable to just feel like nothing is moving in your gut. And of course, it's not natural, right? I mean, your stomach should empty in about 20, 30 minutes, and, and now it's not. So because of this no motion, um, you can get pressure that not only causes acid reflux, but can cause Barrett esophagus, which can lead to esophageal cancer, uh, irritation, esophagitis, um, not to mention just really imbalancing the rest of your gut because you're not getting the, the normal motion of it. Now, the other thing that concerns me is that patients get on these drugs and they're eating less, but then what are they eating? Are they eating less of, of the same crap, if you <laughs> don't mind me saying so, that they've always eaten, so they're just eating less of it because they're not very hungry? Or have they really changed their diet and they're working with somebody to change, you know, using this time of not being very hungry to get away from the highly processed, sugared, uh, chemically engineered foods that cause you to crave um, or are they just you know eating less as I said of the same garbage um, and so there's that and so that you know those people they get off the drug they have lost their weight they get off the drug but their habits haven't changed so what's gonna happen they're still eating these these highly palatable overly processed foods it's just gonna cause them to crave the foods because the foods are engineered in that fashion and now you're overeating again and, and off we go. The other thing that really concerns me is that you lose as much muscle as you do fat on these medications. And, and there's a little bit of argument on that, but most of what I've researched agrees that you're losing a lot of, you're, you're, the muscle and fat is about equal. So what that results in is that now you're a weaker human because you don't have muscle uh, and you also, because of all that less muscle, you have a slower metabolism. So again, when you finally get off the medication, you're much likely to gain weight faster plus you're weaker. So none of this is a good scenario. And then not forgetting the fact that these drugs are new on the market, we don't know what they're gonna do long term, and they're really pushing them for children. Now it concerns me for all of you, but it especially, you know, our children are our future. Uh, what are we doing to them? We don't know, we're just, we're just looking at obesity. And is obesity a problem? It absolutely is. But can we, can we address it successfully without the quick fix of a uh, GLP-1 agonist, which is what this drug does, which is just that you know, slowed gastric emptying, can we do it naturally? The answer is yes. Uh, and we don't have to worry about all these side effects. So yes, it can lead to hiatal hernia through acid reflux, damage to your esophagus, uh, the, the gastroparesis where everything slows to the point that it could be life-threatening, 
losing a lot of muscle, getting weaker, and your metabolism slowing down. So if you're not on the meds yourself, you probably know, I mean, I have se several people in my life who I know that are on this medication. I'm also concerned that some people just get it online. Um, so there's, you know, there, you know, is it, is it the real thing? Is, you know, what's the dosage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I'm not saying it doesn't have any benefit for anyone, but the concerns really outweigh the benefits in my mind. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so more people can hear what we have to say. And uh, if you have any questions or you're interested in improving your health, reach out to us for a consultation.